All right, you've got the map. Now get out there and find those stills. much in LA. Whoops, sorry.
boys. Too much. <laughs> Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Oversell standard. My boys are on the way. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Glenbach. Limbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about the medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it.
What's this all about? Getting ready for some company? Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known a man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call him out with a spotlight on the water tower. I'll load it up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I'll scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? Ah, oh, shite girl. A simple yes or no would have been fine. On the left! On the left! Who fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet? I want the mink alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker.
fan. Fucking eyeballing him right now. Should have saved a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Shall I leave them? I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fucko? Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once they take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times, there was barely any bone left.
yourself a sick sense of humor. Thy lone one to pine on the stem. Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri. Barbieri? No. Not by a long shot. Already told you. That is slow. That's for you. Show up like Lazarus himself. Name thinking of myself. This chalky bastard is either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invites rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Blinken it is, then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we have to go out and inflict pain on someone else. A little man what's busted up in eight of us. But it doesn't, does it? No. You're done. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. Look where it fucking got me. It's the sense. Change it. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, and I imagine you'll be wanting your cut in the proceeds. That's right. Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But it deals a deal. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Oh, fuck. 
Excuse me. Oh, I've got to see the Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Everywhere. Not a drop to drink. Eh, maybe a drop every now and then. Yeah. I must be the only person in this town who doesn't like whiskey. That boy healed. You want the best moonshine? This is the place to look. Well, I 
Thanks for earlier. My old man used to be whip smart. If anyone tried to pull some shit on him, he saw it coming a mile away. Now, fuck. Now he barely knows the goddamn day of the week. Said you could use some help. Some of our bars are down in the bayou. If you could get the shine from them and bring it back, it'd make my life a lot easier. The bayou ain't exactly my favorite place in the world. Come on now, the redneck assholes that live down there just love it when black folks drop by for a visit. <laughs> Ain't been time for small talk, but where you at with all this? All I really want is for everything to go back the way that it was. Poor Vietnam, poor that night, back when everything felt normal. At least our version of it, anyway. We are the righteously fucked. Danny. Was he in any pain? Did he suffer? Don't. Ain't nothing good coming from that. Who says I need good to come from it? Georgie shot him in the head. Looked like he went pretty quick. I hate this fucking town. I better go. Yeah. Okay. Lincoln. Just because Bobby ever is dead doesn't necessarily mean this neighborhood is firmly in our control. If he's still got any men hanging around, you should think about clearing them out. Whiskey, whiskey everywhere, and not a drop to drink. Eh, maybe a drop every now and then.
I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you're doing. You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in a newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I, I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times do we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. Well, look at you. Mm -hmm. Who are we shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So. How's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. 
He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with a 614th. He was credited with taking out two Kraut tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying, we didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the Krauts and Nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't tell me you weren't at least a little curious. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's maid. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut, and then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew kid named Michael Greco to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Any word about how it's going in there? How you think? Vito's taking his beating. Wish Greco would just let us kill a poor son of a bitch, get it over with. Nah. Greco wants to show how tough he is. Beat on old Vito until we all respect. Get in behind 
something! Got a bead on him from the side! Shouldn't have come here. Covering my ass! must have took off. Quit daydreaming and find that cunt! Wasn't he just over here? That's my dipshit. That shit's all him. Let's go! We all... Yo, bastard, got luck.
reload! So much blood. Look at all the blood. Come up on me! That shit's all him! Let's go! Back me up, boys! That's some good shit! Look at me. When we go around, ain't no one feeling real to care about that place, so we just keep at it. Come to us a little bit. Shouldn't have come here. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. Bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. Skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't go for it. <sighs> Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. He wanted me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. The money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, nah, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. Once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. 
What's your partners now? As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Nobody kills that scumbag but me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys have been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. <laughs>